PowerShell Pro Tools, or Visual Studio Code, provides a Windows form designer that you can open using one of the commands that comes with the extension. To install the extension, go to the uh, extension pane in Visual Studio Code and search the marketplace for PowerShell Pro Tools. From there, you're going to want to create a form that will house the event handlers and the code to start running your Windows form. With this PS1 file selected, you want to hit Control shift p on Windows to open up the command palette. From there, you can search for Show Windows Form Designer. When you execute that command, what will actually happen is a Forms Designer will open up as a separate window. In this Forms Designer, you can actually do everything you would expect from a Windows Form Designer. Resize the form, select controls, and add them to the form, modify uh, control properties, such as adding text to a button. When you save this form, in Visual Studio Code, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, your form.ps1 file has been updated to add some um, scripts to actually start running this form, such as add type, which loads the system.windows.form assembly, uh, join path, or we're not sourcing a join path to the form.designer.ps1, and then we're executing uh, form.1.show dialog uh, to actually open the form. If you look at your um, list of files over here, you'll notice that one of the files that was created is the form.designer.ps1. This file contains all the code that's necessary for actually building the form and is what is generated by the Windows Form Designer. If we go back to our form.ps1 file and press F5, you'll notice that the form pops up and executes um, in PowerShell. One thing to note is that you're going to want to make sure that you're running PowerShell version 5.1. It has PowerShell 6 and PowerShell Core do not support uh, Windows Forms as of yet. So one other thing that you can do is if you want to add event handlers to your Windows Form, for example, when you click a button, all you need to do is double click on the button and it will automatically generate a event handler in your form.ps1 file. So if we add some um, scripts to actually open a um, message box, we'll see that when we execute our form, now when we click the button, our message box is executed. 